Care Oswin. Odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? He might simply be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. I should have known. The Order of Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. What kind of strange beliefs? They believe they are Seekers, the only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world? The only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes the world will be reborn a paradise. It's all nonsense. Why haven't the Seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. Cultists? Why am I not surprised? This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus. Did they torture him to death? The promises will pay for this.
As the Seekers of Truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim your destiny, and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Magister Calpurnia, leader of the Venatori. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? So Corypheus sold the Seekers to these cultists? And they leapt at the chance, of course. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. Our abilities grant us many gifts, but the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus, Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. You sound worried. I am. The Seekers are my family.
Daniel! Daniel! Can you hear me? Cassandra... It... is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No! They... put a, a demon inside me. It's... tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible! I'm not... possessed. They... fed me things. I can feel it growing. Can we do anything? I... don't know. This thing inside him. The Lord Seeker. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here, one by one. An important mission, he said. Lies! He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. Could it have been the demon from Therinfal? No. The demon came later. But a demon couldn't simply take his place without anyone noticing. The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... ...came here. Cassandra. Now is not the time for sympathy. Wait! Don't leave me like this, please! You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Seeker Lucius.
Lord Seeker Lucius. Cassandra, with a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. And you're the man who betrayed his own order. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi. A war that will see no end. You lured your entire order to their deaths. There was no other choice. No other choice? Have you gone mad? We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. Don't listen, Cassandra. We need to end this. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. He was insane. He had to be. Perhaps the Envy Demon's influence? Remove the Lord Seeker so it could take over the Templars. All these wasted lives. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this Book of Secrets.
tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. You all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the rite of tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. You mutilate mages. I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right, from the beginning. Why keep that knowledge a secret? We created the right of tranquility. I told you of my vigil, the months I spent emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the Vigil summoned the Spirit of Faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility, and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry. Not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? No. We're nothing like the Seekers. I wonder how much we resemble what they used to be. If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. You keep saying that, but what is the Maker's work? There is no way to know for certain. That is why we must seek it out. Perhaps we lost our way because we stopped looking. If anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. But are they worth rebuilding? You could make them worth it. I... will think on your words. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own.
I was hoping we could speak privately. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I've noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. If it makes you uncomfortable, I can stop. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Why is it impossible, exactly? That should be obvious. Well, it isn't obvious to me. You intend to properly court me? You of all people. Is that what you want? No. I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the Inquisitor and the Herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I didn't expect you to feel this way. I know what you see. I am a warrior. I am blunt and difficult and self-righteous. But my heart lies beneath all that. It yearns for these things I cannot have. If you cannot see that, then desist. What enamors you is but the surface. I can be that man, Cassandra. The world hinges on our, our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything. Yes? Your lost books have been found. Your assistance in this matter will not be forgotten, I assure you. How may I help you? What's on your mind? Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son? What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman, hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinta. You think your father would actually do that? No, although I wouldn't put it past him. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. Let's go meet this retainer, then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough.
be joining up soon, Your Worship. Thank you for all you've done. May could be with you. May could be with you. Be with you. Uh-oh. Nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the Dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. Considering you lied to get him here, Dorian has every right to be furious. You don't know the half of it. But maybe you should. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then. Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration, is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. So that's what all of this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? For your fucking legacy? Anything for that? Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me. A trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me.
He says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but... It's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me, Your Reverence. Oh. I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your Worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinto, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. Oh? I'd like to hear what these rumors are, exactly. I... could not repeat them, Your Worship. Repeat them? So you've shared them before? I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor, only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. This sort of thing happens often, does it? <laughs> More than anyone tells you. No one knows their own reputation. Until someone helpfully informs them. There is that. She meant well, if that's of any concern. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? Why should it bother me? Everyone's talking about the Inquisition. That's good. I'd hate to think I brought you any grief. Perhaps it's odd to say, but... I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... <sighs> Don't speak. I detest confessions. And I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you. Against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor. So long as you'll have me. Here we are again. I should go, as you wish. Good afternoon. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I think I have shared everything of note. I should spend some time encountering more stories. We'll talk later. Goodbye.
Oh, your worship. I'm, uh, I'm with Sutherland. I'm Rat, his squire. Forgive me, I'm not used to being this high up. I was following, and they were taken. They said to come here with a map if there was trouble. That you would help. They said you're a great man. A leader. You'll help, right? Because... Because I don't know what to do. worship. Inquisitor. So you see, they still exist, but not as the Order. But they still You're rather insolent for a servant, aren't you? You're a mage, not my patron. You must admit that new leadership would be refreshing. I admit nothing of the sort. Empress Selene is a fine leader. You have it. Of course not. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. I 
I hope helping us doesn't endanger you. Hardly. Even a brush with someone as well known as yourself can become a great asset in Val Royale. Giving you the identity of those who murdered Lady Montilly's messengers seemed the least I could do. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archive. Contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. They're not just after your messengers, Josephine. They'll try for you, too. I... I am afraid so, yes. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Our legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary, by its standards. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine. The Du Paraquettes still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Paraquet could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montelier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to haunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is all eh? Even an assassin's word is his bond. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A end to be tied up later. I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. We are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor, just normally much more reclusive. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, Elaine. May we conclude with my departure? Go, then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we'll never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Do you hear something? Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... Mm. A locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish.
Well spent. We look like a capital now. Dearly. Ready. And one more moment. He likes them. Truly? Very much, Lady Ambassador. It's just butter and sugar. Her olden taste is so... simple. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. Between our soldiers and spies, Skyhold's safer than anywhere else in Thedas. Yet the problem persists. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royaux? We can solve this without more deaths on either side. My people are ready, should you change your mind. I'll post a watch on our ambassador, in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Varwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royaux if we want to make the Duparakets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Duparakets as lords.
at your service.